The Republic of China, Taiwan, has been providing scholarships to the government and people of St. Lucia since 2007, resulting in over 260 St. Lucians accessing various tertiary education opportunities across multiple fields. This year, the embassy is accepting applications for the MOFA, ICDF, and ISHO medical scholarships. Personnel from the Taiwanese Embassy and the Human Resource Development Unit of the Ministry of Education led the recent briefing, joined by the Ambassador of the Republic of China, Taiwan, His Excellency Peter Shen, and Permanent Secretary in the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, Michelle Charles. Ambassador Shen says St. Lucian's students' academic excellence has been recognized not only in the Caribbean region, but also in Taiwan. He says he hopes the Taiwanese scholarships will continue to light the way for St. Lucian's pursuing higher education and exploring a new culture. I'm glad to see more and more St. Lucian students graduated from Taiwan scholarship programs return to work or create their careers to enrich this country. The solution of Bayer Laureate, Sir Arthur Lewis said, the fundamental cure of poverty is not money, but knowledge. Learning is important for empowering yourself, and Taiwan will be the place for you to get strength. Permanent Secretary in the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, Michelle Charles, while expressing gratitude to the government and the people of Taiwan for the provision of scholarships over the years, implored prospective students to make the best use of the opportunity made available. Only recently, the Ministry of Education, along with Monroe College, launched a first-generation scholarship program to benefit persons who are the first in their household to access and receive higher education. We are in a position to deliver on our hashtag Educate St. Lucia um, vision. This vision really speaks to creating awareness, opportunity, and access to higher education and in one regard for our St. Lucia citizens. And this offer by the government and people of Taiwan is one that aligns very well to our vision. And I'm excited that so many persons are interested in pursuing studies in Taiwan. Former scholarship recipients were also on hand to share their insights and experiences with the current crop of hopefuls. I have zero doubt that you are going to continue the long, the long line of traditions of being academically successful, but also in Taiwan, you are also graded on your attitude. Yeah, your attitude. So in other words, you have an academic score and you have an attitude score. They really support you over there, I can tell you. They really do. In 2014, after I left here to go to Taiwan, a few months after I left, my father died. He died by suicide. And it was beyond difficult for me. They really, really, really supported me when I wanted to quit and come back home because it was just too much to bear. Interested persons are encouraged to submit their scholarship applications as soon as possible. This opportunity, according to officials, will enable St. Lucians to broaden their knowledge and skills while immersing themselves in a new culture. More information can be sought by visiting the Government of St. Lucia website at www.govt.lc scholarships. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney reporting.